Rich, last week we went to play Saints Row, as in Saints Row 5, but called Saints Row. Uh, <laughs> and we played like four hours. And then this is the, the capture from four hours, which is basically 18 different set pieces and mission types and some car customization mm. uh, and some side missions and some open worldy stuff so yeah the whole thing was the last saints row video and we basically s- went through loads of stuff yeah. this rich we're doing exactly the same again and this time you started on the back of a plane yeah so, i was about to say what the hell's going on here so um so yeah so right let, let's bring it to speed this is a reimagining so the saints don't exist yeah um and you play the boss your character and you start as almost like working for a, a pmc okay like a security agency kind of thing did you make um, your character first then or does it throw you in as this generic no i made it i made okay, a generic because right. i was like what's the point of spending all this time building a character right yeah and I'm, I'm only going to be playing for four hours and I'm never going to see this guy again. So it's a shame you couldn't actu- transfer your uh, Shrek or your Trump into this. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. I did actually look, but they weren't connected to the internet. Ah, oh. yeah. But this this should give you a rough indication of what it's like um, in terms of... It's 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 more serious than three and four, but it's still a little bit <laughs> That's wacky. a relative term, isn't it? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's still, still wacky. So mm. it's... Like, they said it sits between, like, two and three in terms of seriousness, right? Okay. And, no, this is what they said to you last time. I'm oh, yeah, it was, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they reiterated so, that to you. No, yeah, that I is something speak they to said. any devs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it does feel like that. So, mm. like, this is scene two, Rich. We've got a, a cop chase, and this is, um, you're basically ramming cops off the road and stuff. So this was some so, of the footage I saw last time. I saw the game, so yeah, this is when yeah. you're um, doing that little uh, payday loans company robbery, isn't it? it, it? And it this is, is your yeah. escape, yeah. It is, but this is me playing it last this time, as yeah. opposed to last time, it being the B-roll. Yep. Um, and like, you know what, I'll tell you what, Like the, t- the thing that strikes me about Saints Row is, the shooting's fun, and the driving's yeah. fun. Like, so, I mean, that's pretty much most of your gameplay right there, mm-hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah, this is so there will be a, a slight overlap with, between the B-roll, but this time it's not B-roll captured. Mm, it's it's this real. Is me playing it. It's me playing it, mate. Real but footage. Real footage. Yeah. But yeah, it's, and then but basically, so it's the the beginnings of the Saints. Yeah. Um, my my only complaint really with the, the hands-on was that they gave us four hours. Like the intro is like three hours, and then when it starts to get good, like. That's it. That's when they like took the it in- away. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the intro is like the first three or four hours is you mm. establishing, because you're all kind of part of gangs and stuff. Um, your, you, your day job is um, working for this PMC, basically, private yeah. military company. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, this is one another job for the private, private military company. And then your best mates are like gangbangers and stuff like that. Um, and then basically it's how you guys all leave everything else to create the saints yeah uh, and that's pretty much the first three hours so the stuff that i was really interested in which is um like the faction stuff uh, and building your own businesses and your empire mm-hmm. right we didn't really get to, well we didn't do any of that which is unfortunate so yeah yeah but um what we did have from the first three or four hours is an incredible amount of variety uh, in terms of set pieces and stuff like this. Yeah. So this is us where um, I'm not meant to be shooting those yet. I'm meant to be shooting the guys so I can then blow up the truck. <laughs> um, but usually in a video game, you see a red barrel, right? And you of shoot course. It. Uh, that's yeah. just, it's, it's natural. That's what um, confused me. I was like, you're shooting that red barrel and it's not going up. Yeah, but you'll see in a minute, there'll be a mm. prompt. Um, right, right. And uh, on the other one, it said, why? And then basically, yeah. But um, this is us doing a job for our day job. But right. as we work through the intro, it goes spectacularly wrong. Actually, we actually see it in one of the missions coming up. <laughs> but uh, it's just it's just really fun. You know, I'll tell you what, you know what it I liken fun. it to? Mm, you know what on. I liken it to? This is the Fast and Furious of video games. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just big, dumb fun. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's it's not going to win any like prizes for writing and things like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Nothing in it is completely innovative. It's just it's just really fun. Uh, and then because you're doing so many different things one after another, yeah. Like the gameplay 
it, it holds up. So yeah. I don't know what that's like going throughout the rest of the game, Rich, but certainly for the first three or four hours, it was like next mission and you're doing something completely different. So we're on the back of a truck shooting a monster truck here. This was <laughs> after jumping on the back of those big pickups and stuff. Yeah. Um, well, not pickups, but lorries. Lorries, yeah. Um, yeah it's trucks. Flatbeds kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then from there, Rich, we're, we're doing the same, but we're in a sandstorm. And I'm like, this game is just, it's nuts. Yeah, it doesn't um, seem to let up for a second. It's um, No, it doesn't. And yeah. and that is the theme of the game. Mm. Like, if you're going from main story to main story mission, then yeah. a lot of it is just like, oh, well, what crazy set piece are we going to do this time? <laughs> like, so, yeah, like you're on back of truck, you get rocket launches. It's, it's um, yeah, I, I think... Fast and the Furious is the, the perfect mm. liking to when it comes to yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any other form of media. Do you know what I mean? Because it's yeah, not no, serious. Makes sense. Saints Row is serious satire, right? Yeah, some sort of, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Like, I know what you mean, at, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like GTA 4 and GTA 5, like the actual characters, um, like it was a little bit batshit crazy, but this mm. is just more Hollywood batshit crazy. Right, right. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, it does. It does. It seems like they've, you know, placed a lot of emphasis on action and gunplay and, like you say, the set pieces and stuff. And yeah, it, lo- it looks cool. But I'm sort of interested to see what the open world stuff's like and the the enterprises and all that. And it's sort of a shame you didn't really get yes. to check out the enterprises stuff because I think a lot of people are quite intrigued by that. Yeah, yeah, that was the the most disappointing aspect for me for sure. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I do. I think that's. I, I like that kind of thing where you're building an empire. Me too. Like, like it works in video games, right? Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, well, it gives but you yeah, a sense stro- of accomplishment, and you know you can gauge how your empire yeah, exactly. is growing and stuff. And yeah, you can you can see it build and grow before your eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know what you mean. You could, I could totally see something like this happening in a Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> yeah. So sure. we've gone from that, mm-hmm. right? Those two scenes are back to back. Yeah. And now we're in a boss fight, basically. <laughs> um. Uh, with two guys on, on motorbikes as well, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's um, like this is I don't know like a twenty minute section, yeah, uh, and it's basically just nutty, <laughs> um, like in a good way, in a good yeah. way, like, but yeah, so like from here, the, he he pretty much then oh he does a great job on this, and then he gets noticed, and then uh, basically he gets. A job for I think it's the CEO or, or one of the owners kind of thing, um, yeah. but then this is this is something else. This is like this is the this is the combat. Like I'm actually a big fan mm-hmm. of the combat. Right. Like, what like the, the melee the special combat moves, or the the gunplay uh, or both? A bit of both. Like the gunplay yeah. is just really satisfying. Right. Like absolutely. Like like and obviously you've got the um like smoke bombs and stuff and then oh, the cool. uh, pineapple express. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 So this is really early on, and you got these things, and you got different enemy types as well, like different <laughs> factions as well. So it's and then it's just a bit nutty, Rich, in a, in a good way. But yeah. yeah, those expecting a super serious kind of nitty uh, gang gritty, game. gritty story. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Nitty. <laughs> yeah, I did not mean that. I meant gritty. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was probably thinking of nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I thought. But yeah, but so basically, yeah, it's. It's just all out action, to be honest, mm. um, which is which is good. I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Like, it didn't blow me away in terms of like this isn't going to win, get any game of the year awards. Uh, no, by, no, no. I wouldn't oh, have thought so. Really? Uh, and then this is straight after that. We're, we're using a container to just smash cars and just take it from from A to B. And then so this to is me, the this one of the like, actual. Uh, this looks like game of the year, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, but it's yeah. like. There's nothing incredibly innovative about it. I know what you mean. It. I know what you mean. There's nothing it's, massively new. It's just a lot of no, ideas sort of mashed into one big. Yeah. yeah and I, I, I can't reiterate how fun it is as well. Mm, yeah. Like all of this, just because the combat is like, you get out and it's like, yeah, yeah, bang, bang. It's, I'm going to throw some people around. I've got some, like, I think I'll get a proximity mine in a bit. And like, mm. they're always throwing different weapons at you as well. So. But, I'd be interested yeah. to see how the full game is sort of paced, how it, how uh, how often it introduces new mechanics and stuff. Because I know you get a wingsuit later on and all sorts of other stuff. Well, yeah, so we do some wingsuit stuff in a bit. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't actually get introduced as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Oh, Lord, just look at that. 
It's great. Fantastic. Yeah, good fun. Yeah, that, that honestly never gets old. So as you can see <laughs> in the bottom right corner, see the uh, the yellow diamonds? Yeah. Oh, they're like sort of abilities with cooldowns. Yeah. And, okay, well, I like that. They're not abilities with cooldowns, but... So you can keep using the same one over and over again, but that is your ability cooldown. Right, okay. So if you've got two, you yeah. can use two back-to-back -back Pineapple Expresses. Okay, nice. Uh, nice. Or two back-to-back -back Proximity Mines. Yeah. So... I mean, it's up to you. But this this is the mission where you're working for the boss um, and you basically... He asks you to do security uh, on a museum uh, and as you can see, we got a minigun and we're absolutely cheering up the, the museum. So, yeah, we basically lose a, a priceless artefact in this mission and also destroy the mu museum. Um, so what about this is not, like, awesome... <laughs> just yeah. I love I love that sort of wanton destruction just all over the place. It's proper. Yeah, yeah, and, it, yeah. and everything's just so I, I've said it a hundred times now. Fun. But it's just like really fun. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think and, that's, and that, that's the watchword, isn't it, really? <laughs> it is, especially for this game. Mm. Like it's it's not like it's not gonna win your uh, your best story in a video game. It's just absolutely nuts. But well, in terms this of is, like, um this is not even taking into account co op. You're playing this alone. Imagine this in co-op as well, because it's got yeah, full and yeah. tethered co-op, right? Uh, yeah, we didn't yeah. play co-op, um, oh. but it has, okay. as far as I'm aware, Rich. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's any and um, what the actual rules are in terms of like progress and hosts and drop in, drop out. Oh, they did. Um, they did actually announce that, and I think it's sort of how you'd want it. It's uh, you. You keep your own progress. I think. Oh, okay. Um, and it's good. and like I say, it's untethered. They they did confirm that. So it's the sort of best case scenario, I think, for co-op support in this game. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, we're in our pants now, Rich, because yeah, why not? we got sacked and we were depressed and we were on a couch mm -hmm. and then we found that two of our best mates uh, are stuck in the middle of a shootout at this club. You've uh, um, created this character based on yourself, haven't you? Because this is how you, you used to roll into the office, I remember. <laughs> Your vest and pants you know, are, oh, again. Yeah, I mean, they, they are fantastic pants as well. Yeah, they're good pants, them. yeah. Like, good uh, underwear. But, yeah, so we're basically going to save our mates at this point. I've got the proximity right. mine, as you can see there. Yeah. Um, which is why we kind of, we're in pants, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but this is what I mean. It's like... Oh shit! Like going, like we've got to go and save our mates. So it's a different kind of mission, but then it always throws in different modifiers and stuff like that. Yeah. So this um, guy again, <laughs> wasn't he the boss from earlier? Ah, uh, mate, I, it's perhaps <laughs> the fact that um, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're generic enemy gang types. members, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't look too much into that. But no. yeah, obviously that was to introduce the shields and stuff like that. Right. 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 Yeah. Um. But yeah, once the shield obviously once the shield's up, you can't use special moves on them. Mm. But you can now, and that actually, um, I love that. Just bitch slaps. <laughs> uh, that gets you back health, Rich. Oh right, what the um, ex sort of um, yeah, animated that, finisher that, thingies. The percentage meter in the middle. Ah. Uh, basically, when it fills to hundred, you can press. I think it's Y. Yeah, uh, and you can bust out your thing. Okay, um, cool. Well, like a special ability, like an ultimate. Well, the execution. Oh, right, that and movie I'll just did. I'll tell you what I did okay. like. The, the, oh, mate, that was such a great throw. <laughs> um, the execution mm -hmm. uh, was... The, the variety in them was fantastic. Like, right. It wasn't like I was like, oh, I've seen this one a hundred times. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, I think I actually do one in him, and then it's like... Yeah, like... Oh, that's cool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I like yeah. that. It's, it, it is like pretty gruesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I yeah, don't like it right. when these sort of games that are sort of rated 18 kind of flinch from violence. Yeah, screw like, it, mate. Just go all out. Yeah, blood if you're everywhere. Gonna, if you're going to be rated 18 or whatever, just go for it. Uh, naturally, Rich, we go from there mm -hmm. into a scene in the car. Oh, yeah. wait, we're not driving. What does that mean? Oh, uh, let's get on the top of the vehicle. And not? here's a rocket launcher. <laughs> so, basically, yeah, like, this is what I mean. It goes from nutty to nutty. Yeah. Like, oh, man. I could, nice. Yeah. Uh, so, so I don't know what scene we're on now, but we're, what, 14 minutes in? This must be like number 13, 12, but we've still got <laughs> loads more to get through yeah. um, in terms of variety. Because like, obviously, look, we've been sacked and uh, our mates have just been injured mm -hmm. um, with um, a load of gang members. So they've had yeah. a falling out with their gangs, and then this is the origins of the sites, and after this, basically, right, yeah. it's like... 
um, the four of them um, basically go, right, let's start our own criminal enterprise. Yeah. Um, and they do. And then that's where they end up in the church. So we've got some church uh, bit. Um, oh, so HQ, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And then that's where the, the hands-on ended. Well, he didn't. Okay. He said we could do open world stuff, but um, they did say, say we could do some Empire stuff, but they said we had to stop when we got to this certain mission. And right. when we got to the end of this certain mission, I think they might have got it slightly wrong because there was no Empire stuff um, available after that certain mission. I think I had to do more missions. Yeah. Well, I know in your church base you have a, a map, don't you, with um, all the different sites yeah. on it. But yeah. Oh. Oh, what's this now yeah. then? This is us clearing the church out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. There's a construction company there, so we are literally just smashing it down. And this is what I mean, going from, like, different extremes to the other. So if like, is a developer the- with a good grasp on what's enjoyable, they know that people like fucking shit Smash- up. Yeah, they? exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, I love like, the look of this. This is, this is exactly the sort of thing I like to do. Yeah, it's chaotic. Yeah. Absolutely chaotic. So, mm-hmm. but this is what I mean. Like, it is a little bit grounded, but it's not super grounded. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like you go into space and mm. curing cancer. Well, um, I mean, you never know. You never know what might. Um, yeah, it might go off the rails towards the end. <laughs> yeah, true. So, right, we cleared out the church, and then we found out somebody else owns the deeds. Right. Uh, and at this point, we're like, let's go and get, the, basically, manipulate the guy into a. Uh, coerce him into giving us the deeds because you want to earn so, it legit <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, well i mean it's a criminal enterprise so sure. it, it, i mean it's got to be criminal <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah like, it's not like they should just buy it i mean they're all skinned anyway none right, of them have sure. got jobs now but yeah so this is um another section and uh the guy is in the back of the car basically right so we have to scare him oh classic uh, that's a yeah, classic exactly. open world uh, crime game mission. It, isn't it? absolutely yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is multifaceted as well, so it's like different stages. Stage one is drifting. Mm-hmm. Stage two is driving in the wrong lane, uh, and stage three is jumps. Right. So, yeah. but I just I found the driving just like really fun. The drift, mm. like it takes it back to a day when these open world kind of crime games were all about arcadey action. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like. <laughs> Saints Row went absolutely ridiculous in terms of um, plot and stuff. Mm. Uh, but like GTA went the other route, didn't it? It was like almost simulation-based yeah. driving and stuff like that. Well, that was one of the issues with Saints Row 4, wasn't it? That the superpowers kind of rendered vehicles redundant. Yeah. You didn't need them. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That, mate. So, yeah. So, like, just being able to drift and like, it's as if they, the developers have gone, look, it doesn't make sense to be able to drive through a lamppost, but <laughs> it's fun. So let's just screw what makes sense. Although, having uh, said that, can you think of any open world games where you crash into a lamppost? They usually always come up, don't they? And just yeah, but they slow you down and they ruin your vehicle, right? Where it just feels yeah. like nothing in this game. Right. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit of the, the vehicle customization that I wanted to show as well, mm-hmm. um, which is, I guess people love a little bit of vehicle customization, oh, right? totally. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's the reason everyone wants Need for Speed Underground back, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So obviously you can kit out the the new church, mm-hmm. uh, and you can do everything with that. But you can also like customize your cars and stuff like that. This probably wasn't the best car to do, but it was the only car I really had. <laughs> it's like a mini metro. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got it from a, one of the the other guys, basically right. in the crew. It's like, oh, you can have my car, and I looked at it. I was like, oh yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that's gone bad. But you can add like like a spoiler, so that makes it infinitely yeah, cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and you could add like a car rack if that's the, a cool thing you do. Yeah, uh, keep it bikes but obviously, on it. Yeah, but then you can add off-road kits, nitrous, and each kind of vehicle has um, like signature abilities. So right. the crab steering means that you can parallel park. Basically, you go sideways. All oh, right, okay. Like a crab rich, like yeah, a crab. Yeah, I get it. Right, we've got a little bit of open world stuff now to uh, finish off the the video. Basically, this is um, just the wingsuit stations that line around the world that you can uh, kind of jump on. Uh, oh, that's and cool. Then you, yeah, so they're just basically marked on the map, and you can just do whatever you want. Uh, and then, obviously, the cool thing with the wingsuit is just being able to jump onto vehicles. Oh, nice. Uh, and, and then going from vehicle to wingsuit. So you kind of don't need a car if you don't want it. But, mm. um, but yeah... You, Wingsuiting isn't as fun as driving. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do you know what I mean? Well, like, it must be harder to um, 
Must be harder to keep momentum on a wingsuit as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, although, like, when we saw the B-roll last time and you saw it, there was an ability where you could just push, like, is it smash Oh, you could bounce and, off, yeah, pedestrians. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I clearly don't have that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Jeez. yeah, right, Rich, <laughs> as well, you can dumpster dive. <laughs> right. Which is just like collectibles dotted around the map. Yeah. Uh, they give you cash and XP. I just found this a, a really weird mm-hmm. thing. It's just a, an interesting way to do a collectible. But as about <laughs> like, what the hell is this? And then that's all you do, Rich. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, you found a shoebox full of money. But you, you got some What's decent money from it. Blimey, like, someone two, just two discarded. <laughs> yeah, it's got, who's throwing yeah. that kind of shit away? Uh, and Rich as well. Um, there's like uh, landmarks. and. Nice. You can take photos, uh, and this is Boomer's sh- short first, short first, short fuse fireworks. A mm-hmm. um, bit of a statement to be made there, Rich. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but like, there's also um, last but not least, there's like these kind of wingsuit saboteur things. So basically, right. you wingsuit, take some shit down, and then wingsuit out, take some shit down. Mm. Um, but it's, I just wanted another excuse to. Show off some more wingsuiting, but this basically takes us all the way to the end of the video, Rich. And that was right. like 20 plus minutes of Saints Row, which is well, out this August, right? It's out this August, and it looks highly entertaining. I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I think it's the sort of thing I need for my summer to uh, take my mind off this hellish weather. Yeah, especially uh, in the UK. Yeah, um, exactly. Which, um, thankfully, we're not recording this while it's 40 degrees out. No, so, um, no. But yeah, like yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. And you know what? We've not had a big open world game in so long. Mm. It was, I guess, Especially Elden Ring one like and this. Horizon, right? Yeah, I mean, but yeah, like this. They're that completely different. One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I suppose GTA Five was the last really big one. Yeah, but everyone's played that a million times, right? Exactly. So That's yeah, like it's time for something fresh. Release number seven, right? <laughs> yeah, I've lost count. <laughs> Um, so yeah, basically you've, you've blown up that shit, and then you go into the next one, and we end it in such a delightful way, Rich. Oh yeah, this video ends with a bang. Well, with a push and a bang. Yeah. You know what? The platform was decent as well. It's easy to just jump and run, and jump and climb, and everything. So good. This is how we're ending it, Rich, in absolute style. But when's it out, Rich? Twenty third. Twenty third of August. Yeah, it's gone gold today, actually. So um, that means it's there we go. Uh, shouldn't be getting delayed. It should be on target. So yeah, next month. There we go, folks. Long Thanks go. for everyone watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll do that to you <laughs> and that to you. Uh, thanks, folks. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> Bye.